you this morning. The frigid weather could make for a flowers, flowerless Valentine's Day for some. Supplies are down in some areas. Frost destroyed crops in Colombia, and that's a country that supplies roses to many American floors. Stacey Ellison shows you if this will affect bouquet deliveries across the bluegrass. This is not what rose growers want to see in the weeks prior to Valentine's Day. Frost destroyed 10% of Colombia's roses set for worldwide distribution. An analyst feared this could mean fewer roses at higher prices. As for the growers, they always hoped romance would triumph. Here at E. Stephen Hine Florist, the frost has been a very minor factor when it comes to Valentine's preparations, whether we're talking pricing or supply. Here, Valentine's preparations are in full swing and business is good. Oh, it's jumping and hopping and all those things. Three extra designers and five extra drivers are in to keep up with the season's demand. And as for the roses... All of our roses are still coming in beautiful. They've had freezes down in that area, but uh, our farms evidently haven't been, you know, bothered by it just too much. Hein does say, however, because of frosty weather, there are fewer specialty varieties available. Like the peony-shaped roses that are so beautiful and fragrant, wasn't able to get more because the wholesaler said they did good to get my one box. <laughs> Bottom line, it'll take more than this to keep bouquets from brightening Valentine's Days across the bluegrass. Stacy Ellison, WKYT, 27 News First. Hines says prices are up a bit, about $10 a dozen, but that's a standard increase, not because of the frost. A Hallmark retail survey, by the way, found 32% of Americans include flowers in their Valentine's Day gift-giving, just behind cards, candy, 